Good morning and welcome. Now today is an exciting day for me. I have received a gift from one of my suppliers. Um, so we have been sponsored with, I'm not going to even uh, keep you on the line of that one, with some tallow. So this is a special package with two different kinds of tallow. So I'm going to unbox it and tell you about this as we go because I'm going to tell you what to expect from this. Um, this is not just that I'm going to receive it. We are going to do specific videos with this. So first things first, um, the lady that sponsored me were uh, Maureen Swift. She is somewhere in the Cape. I've been buying from her for quite a while already. Um, the tallow, always lovely, clean, um, low temperature rendered, so it does not smell a lot like beef and so on. So I must really say I am very much impressed with her tallow and I just love working with it. So most of my skincare products are made with marine stella because why do you have to render it yourself if you can just buy it? And as you see, it's always lovely and packaged. Um, just making sure it's recording on that side. Oh. Okay, so what you have sent me is three kilogram of sheep tallow. So here we've got the sheep tallow here on this side. And she's sent me three kilograms of beef tallow. Now the difference between the two of them, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. Let me see if I can move it in here. Kind of the exposure. Oh, there we go. Um, the sheep tallow is much whiter than the beef tallow. Now I do know um, I do know that the the beef tallow is um, grass-fed tallow, so I have not asked her about the sheep tallow, but I presume actually so. So I will find out that information and I will leave it in the description box as well. So, and I'm going to leave her contact details in the description box. Um, she does Pudo all over South Africa. Um, as I say, it is lovely vacuum packed, one kilogram batches, so it is just absolute a wonderful product to work with and it's not because it's sponsored I've been using this and I've been actually um, telling you guys about this even while it was still a paid product so I will definitely buy from her in future still again um, so yeah what happened was she oh this camera is bouncing but she actually asked me to make a sub video with the sheep tallow so that we can actually just um, what's the word I'm looking for um, uh, like I've got the Afrikaans one. English airtime already ran out early in the morning. Um, compare, there is the word I'm looking for. So that we can compare the two with one another. So I told her, yes, I can do a sub making video with love. Don't mind doing that. But I actually would like to use it in different products as well. So keep, watch the space because what we're going to do is we're going to make a 100% um, sheep tallow soap, 100% beef tallow soap, and I decided while we're at it, I bought some pork fat, so I'm going to render it into lard, so I'm going to do it in three ways. So we're going to do sheep tallow, beef tallow, and the lard, and see how they actually stand up to one another. Um, is one more suited for one product, and another maybe more suited for another product? Um, so this is going to be a few experimental videos, so I'm going to learn with you guys because it's going to be the first time that I ever use sheep tallow. Um, so as we go, I will tell you more about what it smells like, if it smells like anything. Um, then we're going to make soap, taste the soap afterwards. Um, I hope I'm going to keep my stuff together because um, we're going to try to cure, okay, we're going to cure it for six weeks and check after six weeks again. Also, I'm going to do... I'm going to give it a try on a whipped body butter. Um, I told a friend I don't like whipped body butters, but it's not that I don't like whipped body butters. I don't like whipping butters. <laughs> so we might do a whipped body butter, but we're definitely going to do an anhydrous um, uh, butter if it's whipped or non-whipped. I don't know yet. So we're going to do an anhydrous body butter. We're going to do an emulsified body butter with water. And then we are going to make the tallow soaps. And I'm going to make a herbal balm with all three of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same recipe 
and we're going to use just different uh, fats in it and see where we're going to go with this. So I'm actually quite excited. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to, as I say, watch this space. The next video is going to be most probably um, the uh, uh, bombs and the butters. And um, I'm going to record, I'm going to do and record the soap one. And um, that one will be released last um, after it cured for a while. So yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you guys again soon. So you must keep well, keep safe, be blessed and yeah, see you in the next video.